everybody, this is Fortune Gentleman 24 here, back with more of the Witch and the Hundred Knight. Last time we beat a witch, we beat a big giant bitch, and now we have something wrong with Metallia, for unfortunately. Sadly. Ow! 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 Still, this pain, I recognize it somehow. Hey, um, maybe you should lie down. Shut up! Don't come near me! Should you really act tough right now? This is no normal stomach ache. This isn't the Green Spot Plague, is it? Green Spot Plague? It is a plague that begins with a stomach ache, and as it progresses, spotty bruises spread all over and you die. I already knew that! This pain, it's different i i know this pain this might be lord peptobiz oh shit oh i see lord peptobiz it has been quite a long time since i heard that name it hasn't been here in ages so i thought it went somewhere really far away lord peptobiz who's that i don't get it but are you okay? Lord Peptobis is a god that appears out of the forest depths whenever Master Leo does something bad. Symptoms include a circus of stomach aches, headaches, back aches, dizziness, diarrhea, pain, suffering, and vomiting. Scary, though. No. <laughs> That's an old fairy tale people told to get their kids to behave. Natalia, you believe that old superstition? S superstition? Honestly, if we ignore your usual behavior, you have a really cute side too, huh? This is why ignorant dogs. Damn heads out high. Lord Peptopis was written in Great Witch Urtica's Witch Doctrine. Which specific book? Okay, okay, I get it. Don't speak. Save your strength. I shouldn't have laughed at you. But still, can't you use your magic or something to create an antidote for your stomach ache? Heptobiz or whatever aside. Isn't this a chance to show off how amazing your magic is? Stupid! Are you trying to get us all killed? Not calling it Lord... Ow Ouch! Also, Lord Peptobiz is immune to all witch magic. On top of that, the symptoms will only worsen. Yes. What kind of god is this Peptobiz? Uh, no, Lord Peptobiz. You're starting to creep me out. This isn't contagious, is it? <laughs> Don't worry. Lord Peptopis would never waste its time on a non-magic user. <laughs> never at a loss for words, are you? The Hunter Knight gets dizzy for a second due to the unstable flux of the magic power in the area. Oh no! I must admit that I have never seen symptoms as bad as this. What'll happen if you don't get better? You won't die, will you? Previously, after a few days, she would heal right up, almost as if she was faking, uh, never sick. But her suffering like this is indeed a first. Yes. Wait, is your hair a little darker than usual right now? Is it? Her hair looks the same as ever to me, but... Hair is influenced by magic and responds accordingly. I'm sure my shitty condition is to blame for any color change you see. <sighs> it is possible that Master Leah's magic powers have been drained. It may prove challenging to tough it out for several days. How can you be so calm about it? She's suffering a great deal! Isn't there something we can do? As a matter of fact, 
I have nothing to suggest, yes. But in the western mountain valley, I do recall that a shaman lives there who specializes in exorcisms. Huh? Where'd you learn that? I overheard some birds having a conversation deep in the mountains the other day. You heard birds talking? Are you serious? I mean, you always lie with such a straight face, so... I've heard a similar rumor from a witchcraft professor before. In the Forbidden Lands, there's someone who cures witches for a living. Shun. Better not be another witch. If another witch sees me like this, I'd rather just die. Ow! 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 I idiot! This is no time to act tough! I have no further information regarding the shaman. It could be a witch, something else, or perhaps not even a human. Anything is possible, yes. Jeez. Useless. Well, whatever. It's a side job while we make the pillars bloom. You got that, Hundred Knight? Release the pillars, find the shaman, and get me some medicine. Head to the... What's... Ravine? <laughs> you look so apathetic. But you realize I don't know what'll happen to you if I die, right? My magic and your existence are linked. My death might nullify the contract, or you might die with me. Hundred Knight grows dizzy again due to the unstable magic out in the air. This is getting dangerous. Crap. Enough talking. Arlecchino, lend me a hand, would you? We need to take her to her bed, okay? With Master Leah in this condition, it will be difficult to use certain things and guide Sir Hundred Knight. Ugh. We have to let her do it. And there's no choice, but I can't help but grit my teeth when talking to her. Arlecchino, call for Mani. But it is impossible to know where Master Mani could be. She's close, trust me. Her hearing surprises even me. Master Mani? Who is it this time? Master Mani is a rogue fairy. Her outrageousness is comparable to Master Leah. One would doubt she is truly a fairy because she is such a punk. Er, uh, such a grand creature, yes. Okay, you have shards of glass sticking out of your head. Huh. If that entrance surprised you, then maybe it was a bit too much to do in front of a human. Huh? Uh... You were cursed to turn into a doggy! Bark, bark! Come on, bark for me! No! Your eyes are really squinty. No, maybe your personality got worse? Anyway, what happened? Master Mani, it is not her eyes that have gone bad or her personality. It is her health, yes. Huh? Isn't that what I said? Well, whatever. I was just imitating you, Arlie. I am extremely humbled. Whatever you want. I'll remember this later. Ow, ow. Aww, don't get mad at me, Leah. I get the picture. You need me to navigate this thingy, right? Yeah. Guide the Hundred Knight to the Shaman or whatever. And get me some damn medicine. Uh oh. This is serious business. You should get some rest. It's a promise between you and me. Don't worry. Just 
just leave it to your best fairy pal, Mani. It's a promise. Ugh. Natalia falls unconscious from the underlying pain. Oh god, get up! Natalia! Hundred Knight! I'm sorry, but I must stay here and watch over Natalia. Even though she is who she is, I can't leave her alone when she's suffering so much. Thank you for your concern, Master Visco. Just Visco is fine, really. I see. Then please refer to me as Butler Lord uh, Arlecchino. Let us away to the second floor. Hmm. Mani is totally checking out the Hunter Knight. Ooh. Hey, are you really the legendary Hunter Knight? Uh, whatever. Okay, I have to get ready, so we'll chat later. Hmm, honey Knight? Act 2, Chapter 4, The Witch and the Ancient Ravine Well, that was a very interesting... Mani the Fairy, okay. Okay, that's a, <laughs> a very interesting fairy. Oh, hello. Oh, 100 Knight, you're back. Massilia is undergoing some treatment in her bedroom on the second floor. She seems to be in a lot of pain. Yes. So, Hundred Knight, please take care. Oh, just leave it. Just leave it to the unstoppable corner of me and Honey Knight. Okay, Honey Knight, we need to get Lee out of this little bitch. That's the side of anyone who gets in our way. Bang, bang, destroy him. Boom, boom, crash him. Keep changing him no matter what. Now, Sir Hunter Knight, Master Mani, please take care of the both of you. Okay, uh, well, we got a new facet. The Marginal Glade, he is good with spears and staffs. That's actually, well, hmm, I guess? I can try them out, really, but I, I understand they all start off at level 1 and they have like different ways they're good at using stuff, but... Spears and staff? I mean, I like the idea of staff, I like that, but spears... Uh, well, not really. A moment, Sir Hunter Knight. Why is it I can always see Arlenchina talking like Lurch? I have a message from, Mas from Lady Mina. The shamans live on the west side of the Yokopoko River. Going there will require some specific direction. You must use a pathway deep in the forest known as Butterfly Rope to get there. I recommend being your search in the first in that place, yes. And here's a little containing Master the symptom. And as I request, please give this to the shaman. I can actually see him talking like Lurch. From um, the Adams family. They know the name. Please be careful that you do not trip and fall out there, so under night. I can really see him talking like that. He's a perfect butler going, You rang. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we got a new facet. I kind of like the end of this one. Ooh. I like that. I like this. I like how he looks, but there are some ones I like a little bit more than others. So, so it goes on. We gotta go to different areas, and different areas that we go to have us having to go back to the original areas. So, tip 30 to mine, face skill 1 3, sub face skills, face skill will be 100% strength. Alright. So, how is everybody doing today? Me? I'm doing pretty good. I'm back and playing games, and I'm liking it. Spring break's almost here, and I'm slowly enjoying it. Get 
Pounce and crash and burn the world. Words have never been spoken so greatly except for a little fairy that's more annoying. Well, not as annoying as Navi. So this should be interesting. As she said, we need to find Butterfly Road. Where is Butterfly Road? Well, if you look on the map, there's a little exclamation mark that actually says that we need to go there. But, 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 as we all know, it's always good to actually go and, you know, train, beat the crap out of the monsters a little bit here and there, do this and do that, but, uh, yeah, it's always good to always get the objective done, then go train. But here we go, we got a first encounter with... Oh my, what a rare sight to see here. Are you looking for the ride? Ride on the butterfly road by chance? Yes, yes we are, Miss... Or Mr. Butterfly, I don't know what you are. Butterfly Road is a road in the sky, the biggest in ravine can be traversed with no problem. Oh, Miss Butterfly, okay, okay, now I see. Wait, no, there's two of you. But do you have butterfly power? And of course, smoking a tobacco pipe on the road is not allowed. Why am I using tobacco? Well, Tiki, but it. Go. Oh man, that isn't what butterfly power looks like at all. So sorry, but you won't be able to travel butterfly through with that. The Koreans are something seen carrying butterfly power, but sometimes not. Rumors are fun, huh? Maybe they'll share some with you if you ask nicely. Come back once you've found some butterfly powder. Okay, so we gotta get some butterfly powder, and rumor says that the Corrigons have it. Let's see, Corrigons, we went to Corrigons when we were fighting uh, Miss Valentine and Sigro. Sigroetta. Sigro. Sigro. Whatever the damn girl's name is. <laughs> oh yeah, the new knight just got a bunch of power. So, best objective is to go to near the Saint Dutch. That's the best way for us to do to be able to actually get the powder. But, it's always good to go back inside and raid the shop to get something. Always make sure to customize the separate, the different type of weapons you have. If you have lovable weapons, you need to upgrade them. Upgrade them to a top notch. If you have new abilities that you want to put onto yourself that gives like better resistance or better slash or faster hit ratio or whatever, it's always good to come back here and change. And also don't forget that we got the little glowing spots. And always make sure to go to the bucket list. Let's see, decrease karma mana exchanged. The little dude slowly going up. We got him at level 1. He's already level 4, I think. I didn't actually pay attention. Yeah. 